Uh, Jeffrey, what happened to Devin Nunez? I didn't, a few weeks back in London, before the anniversary games, I had ended up injuring myself um, during one of my practice sessions. And, you know, being the wise decision, I pulled out of the meet. Um, I had ended up, after, you know, going to the doctor to get it analyzed and looked at, I had, what do you call it, sprained my labrum. It's supposed to be the seal that keeps the ball joint of the femur inside the socket, the hip joint. Um, so, you know, a few weeks therapy, intensive care, we coming here to Brazil, trying to see what I could do. Um, me and my coach talked about it. He said, you know, if you don't feel up to it, into the heat, and you don't really run that well, or, you know, you don't feel that well, just scratch it. But I said, you know, I'll come out here and see how it feels. You know, we did practice sessions, but being at the, the hard pace inside of a race, it's different than what you would probably do inside a practice session, you know, even in a test run. So, um, you know, I really almost stumbled after the first hurdle trying to catch myself in. It just really the race kind of got away from me there. You second guess yourself now about that decision to run? Um, I cut out. Yeah. No. You know what? I don't regret it. it. Sometimes these things happen. And I understand that um, you just have to always, you know, think about the bigger fix, the next big thing. So that race is behind me, and I'm just going to focus on, you know, world champs next year. Um, God willing, I'll be able to get, you know, two or three more Olympics inside me. So there's just working towards that, you know. Brazil, it's still an experience to come out here and, you know, represent your country every time. So I'm just going to take from here, move on from this, and just get better. What are you going to be doing in terms of getting prepared, getting to um, um, this injury? Well, I probably I'd shut down my season from here and start going into therapy. Um, I want to try to see if I can get an MRI to scan the whole region and um, see what I can do from there. I've been working with some specialists inside Raleigh, um, some manipulators and chiropractors for you know the pro hockey team there so I'll see what's the next step after getting it looked at here how do you feel though in the end uh, coming out you don't feel any way worse than you'd have done in I <laughs> excuse me you know I feel you know I have the conditioning in me but it's just if I'm not able to get my leg over properly and then even raise it up as I'd like to it, it really defeats the purpose you know and it being so technical and so on, steps and rhythms and foot, you know, even if I change my blocks, I still kind of had to work my way around it from there. Which one is it? The left? It's the left hip. Okay. It's the you, left labrum. You, you, you must feel disappointed in a way that you weren't oh. able to come and do Yeah, what you, most yeah. definitely, especially on a, <laughs> on a world stage, like, you know, finishing last in the heat. Come on. I know I'm better than that, and I would just hate to put my country, you know, people who supported me from my family, my country, you know, people in Raleigh, my church members, those sorts of people, um, just to really, they put so much faith in me, and, you know, I didn't tell anyone about it because I wanted to keep it, you know, quiet, contained, um, <laughs> and then see what to do, but, you know, I came out there, and I'm sure it's embarrassing, but I'm, I'm not going to be embarrassed about something that happens. It happens to the best of us, just... Unfortunate that it happened so late in the game.